Bruce? What happened to this road? We rebuilt it just three years ago. And already there are cracks and potholes everywhere. It must be from a herd of dinosaurs or something stomping through. You designed it, didn't you? Yes. But we designed it like every other traditional road. In the end, they all eventually fail, right? You shouldn't expect too much from them. Hi everyone. I'm Delcia. What are these grown-ups talking about? I think those road holes are just waiting for me. You can't do that in this busy roadway, Delcia. You could get hit by a car or truck. Let's move to the side. Watch out for that broken edge. You could turn your ankle. Stop. I forgot my planting shovel. That big truck killed my flower. We can't continue building these roads the same way. Where is the technology to prevent these failures? Many engineers and road officials are afraid to try awesome new things. That anti-progress principle, good enough, is really hard to change. Don't blame engineers. You builders, don't seem to be interested in making better roads either. Can I get my flowers back? What's wrong, Don? Whenever road base gets wet, it turns mushy really fast, and loses its strength. It also fails when water seeps in under the roadway shoulders. True. And once a crack or hole starts, even more water comes in. The water starts going deeper and staying longer. It looks to me like they put that asphalt or chip seal on, untreated dirt. They don't call it, untreated dirt. They call it, engineered road fill. Actually, engineered road fill is really, just, Compressed dirt and stones. Perfect. Four flowers. Dawn, do roads break in Michigan too? It's especially bad when water gets into the holes and cracks. It freezes and turns to ice, breaking the road even more, just like in Michigan. I've seen their flyers. I've watched some videos and visited their website but have always thought that this is just another stupid snake oil idea to fix roads. To my surprise, many cities, counties, states and private companies are starting to use Lithtech for roads a lot. I wonder if we don't need to look into it more. What? Better results than the old way. What's different here? It says, Lithtech ingredients milled with the road base, converts it into a stone-like product. It is strong, like concrete, but much more ductile. Wow. More ductile than concrete, it doesn't crack, swell, or shrink. It also distributes the weight of traffic over a larger area. It says that it's 97% waterproof. Does that mean it won't turn to mush when it's wet? Obviously, it means that asphalt is placed on a solid base, rather than on a layer of dirt. It is an ideal base for the more economical, chip seal, wear surface. Glued, to bedrock, and not just statically sitting on a layer of compressed dirt. The wise man built his house upon a rock and the foolish man built his road upon dirt and, and sand. The prince swished out his sword, and chopped through the thorn bushes. He had heard of sleeping booties in a tale long ago. This must be her castle. He chopped all day long but had to stop and rest for the night. His heart was full of courage, but his arms and legs were cowards. He was brave, right? What does it mean? His designing arms and legs were cowards. 